the last time you shopped online for a pair of shoes, did the ads follow you for days or even weeks? Well, your internet provider knows far more about your browsing habits than Google, Facebook, or Amazon. And now that provider can legally sell that information without your permission. A shocking new report reveals the California DMV is selling your private data for millions of dollars every year. One America's Pearson Sharp explains how your personal information is being bought and sold all without your knowledge or permission. U.S. intelligence uh, confirms it's collecting the private messages of internet users. Nine major internet companies, they include uh, Google, Facebook, Yahoo, Microsoft, Skype, YouTube, Apple, AOL, and PalTalk have been used by the FBI and the National Security Agency to monitor photos, videos, emails, audio, and all other sorts of information tracking a sweeping scope of individuals' online activity. Maybe it's because I grew up with the internet a reality. The ads don't bother me all that much. When does it turn sour? Data privacy has been a growing concern over the past few years and it has been increasing in worry every passing year. But why does it matter and why should you care? The internet and social media lets you connect with friends and loved ones on a daily basis anywhere on the planet. Store images, play games, share your thoughts, ideas, desires on forums, tweets, memes, and express yourself in ways never before in human history. And you get to do it all for free. All they ask is for the ability to let them share ads with you. And hey, you may even like some of the ads and the products that you get. So what's the big deal? Many of you have seen the news about Facebook getting into trouble for selling personal data, nothing that will breach privacy laws. In fact, some of the data they sell doesn't even have your name attached to it. So what's the big deal and why over the past 30 years has nobody seemed to care until now? First of all, you need to understand what a data broker is. A data broker is somebody who gathers and sells people's data. For example, there's a company in Canada that says they have over 1,200 data points on 10% of the world's population. Well, what does that mean? Well, let's say I'm a data broker. An easy way to gather information about you is to go to all your social media accounts and save your landing page, every photo and comment you've ever done and gather up all that information. What do you think I'd find? Would I know your religion, political views, personal beliefs? What about things simple, like who you're related to, where you work, where you've worked in the past, where you've vacationed, on what day, what makes you angry, what makes you happy, how many friends you have, who you hang out with, if you're a night owl, if you're a socialite, what foods you like or dislike, and I can go on and on. Every single piece of information somebody knows about you is considered a data point. Thanks to the Cambridge Analytica scandal with Facebook, now more people than ever have been raising their voices for the need of data privacy. Now that we have proof of many presidential elections getting manipulated so well that companies can decide who will become a president. Now we are getting to understand how people using your information, not only are they able to manipulate your way of thinking, but they are also able to predict your behavior before you do something. Literally, companies can predict your future because they know human behavior so well and add that with the 1200 plus things that they know about you, they can manipulate that future and they have been over years. So they want you to be okay with using these services for free just so they can send you ads. But when those ads are pointed to you directly to manipulate your way of thinking, then it becomes a very big problem. This, among other reasons, is why I use Brave Browser, and that's what we are going to talk about today. Hey everybody, Skylar here, and in this video, I want to talk to you about Brave Browser. And I want to talk to you about why I believe everybody watching this video, if you are not using it already, you should definitely use it. And we're going to go over why I think you should use it as a user, um, and get rid of the Safaris, and the Google Chromes, and the Firefoxes, and the, and the Internet Explorers, and all that sort of stuff. Um, in fact, I, I used to be a big believer. I used to love uh, Chrome. A lot of stuff that Chrome did and a lot of stuff that Firefox did. And this browser actually put everything in together and actually added a couple more cool stuff. Um, and now you can, not only is all your data private and protected, but you actually make money just by using the internet just like you normally would every single day with literally zero difference. 
You don't have to do anything different than you do and you'll just accumulate money uh, because Brave Browser actually pays you for people, you know, for ads that pop up. You don't have to use the ads, but if you're okay with them, then they'll pay you for it, right? Um, so there's a lot of cool stuff that this ends up doing and and, and it actually um, is the first real, you know, I wouldn't say first, but uh, it's one of my favorite actual working cryptocurrency projects as well. Uh, the browser necessarily isn't a cryptocurrency project, but they, they you can get paid in cryptocurrency just by using this browser. So at any rate, I'm going to go over all that stuff in this video. Um, and uh, just to let you know, I, I do make these, these videos uh, at least once a week, if not like two, three times. I, I want to eventually be making them close to every single day. Um, but every single like and subscribe definitely goes a long ways because th this channel goes straight to charity. I don't take a single penny profit. Um, and uh, and yeah, so every single like and subscribe, you know, is super appreciated. But uh, yeah, let's just get into it. So um, let's just go to the brave.com um, website. By the way, I, I do have a, if you do want to download it, I have a link down in the description. You can, uh, uh, you can use my reference link to download it. I, I, I think I, I can earn like a buck or something or... Uh, I'm not really sure. I haven't looked into the, the, the reference link part of it, but uh, if you want to help me out, definitely use my link. If not, uh, just go to brave.com and you can download it there without without my link. But um, before I kind of go into it, let's hop right into the intro video that they um, put out. And hopefully they won't get upset at me playing this whole video on my video, but uh, if they tell me to take it down, I will. But yeah, let's check it out. You ever feel like you're being held back? That's because you are. The browser you're currently using is loaded with trackers, cookies, and other data collection parasites that are constantly following you side to side as you browse. These drain your battery, slow down your loading speeds, and they cost you extra money in data charges. That's right, you're paying extra and draining your battery just to slow yourself down with invasive ads and trackers. But there's a solution. Introducing Brave Browser. It's up to eight times faster than the browser you're currently using. You also gain over an extra hour of battery life and your data plan goes twice as far when you browse with Brave. Brave shows you all the time you save by showing in real time all the ads and trackers blocked so you can consistently see how Brave is optimizing your browsing experience. So, you want to load content, sites, and games faster, pay less for data, and you want a longer battery life for your device? Download Brave today. It's completely free, there's no trial period, no catch, and you don't need any plugins. You can listen to me, or you can listen to USA Today, CNET, Coindesk, The Verge, or Forbes. So join the 8 million users who speed through the internet worry-free. Download Brave now, and in less than 60 seconds, you can import all your current browser's settings, extensions, and bookmarks. Yesterday was about big tech. Today's about us. I like that. Um, today is more about us, yeah, privacy. Um, it's weird how privacy wasn't even an issue a few years back. Now it's now it's it's you know Facebook is going to court for it. They're they're having to create laws because we didn't realize how screwed up. And I, I can go into this later. I haven't decided if I'm gonna actually do do I have examples I can kind of share with you. A lot of people say, well, why is it bad? I don't do anything illegal. Uh, why would I care if my my data is private? And uh, and uh, I'll, I might get into that at the end of the video. We'll see. But um, interesting, this this talked about uh, eight million subscribers. I'm curious when this video came out because there now is over 20 million active subscribers, and just on the just on the Android device alone, they have 40 million downloads. So anybody familiar with uh, cryptocurrency at all, just know that the number one downloaded cryptocurrency app company out there is Coinbase, and they've downloaded a little over 20 million, maybe maybe closer to 25 now, I haven't checked. But it's pretty much double what uh, what, what Coinbase is, and that's the number one place that people go to like get into the cryptocurrency world. So um, that just shows you like you don't, like this, this is a built, the people that built this built it on the backbone of some like um, uh, cryptocurrency technologies, but it's not, it's not like a cryptocurrency company. It's a company that made an amazing browser and then integrated payment systems and all sorts of privacy stuff with the uh, blockchain and, and cryptocurrency technology. So uh, it's really, really cool. But uh, let's kind of go, um, let me kind of go through the site and just share my thoughts on a couple of stuff. So uh, first of all, um, it does uh, it does allow you to remove ads. So if you don't want any ads whatsoever, you, no one will track you. Um, all the ads are going to be um, completely removed. And you can actually uh, use uh, use use a, a 
extra privacy with this and use a Tor network. So if you know what Tor network is, you can actually use Tor network with the Brave browser if you want to use that extra layer of security. This also works when you VPN. Um, so now if you want ads, you definitely can get them. And the nice thing is they actually pay you for it. In fact, um, if you click up here, you see that just this month, I've it was like 20 bucks a couple days ago, but I've made $24. And this is 100% just me using my internet, right? Doing what I'm doing right now. I, I don't do anything special. I don't go any crazy sites. I don't have to buy anything. I'm just, you know, do, you doing the doing my internet thing, you know? Um, so you can actually make money. Now, you do get this in, in basic attention token, which is a cryptocurrency in the top 20 right now, but uh, you can easily convert this out into Bitcoin, convert this out into fiat currencies. So you can have your euro, you can have your US dollar. Um, this, this 24 bucks, you can actually send to your bank account as 24 USDs or euros or, or whatever currency that you know you end up using but um, but uh, and then actually when you click this little um, brave shield up here it kind of talks to you about what's going on on the website and just on the brave.com there's six items blocked which is um, kind of funny but um, but yeah, so a lot of companies, uh, they'll end up snagging your, your data, your clicks, and because of all these ads, it does slow down your, um, your data a lot, and it uses a lot of data. So if you're using your phone, for instance, what, what it was saying on that video, it's really nice because your phone's gonna get slowed down because you're having to load all of these ads, and because you're having to load all these ads all the time, it uses up your battery power, so it definitely helps with that. Now, let's just hop into this video. Let me see if I don't want any sound. Let me turn the desktop audio down. So if you see this, um, like they're just pulling up websites. So CNET.com, as you see, Brave Browser beats them. Um, and the reason why that this browser is able to have better speeds is because we're blocking those data, you know, all those ads and whatnot. So you're only loading the content that's actually there. Now, um, and again, if you want ads, you definitely can. You can get paid for them, which is nice. But um, now, this is Brave Browser is also just to let you know it's it's use it uses Chromium, which is the same technology that that uh, Google Chrome uses. So all of your Google Google Chrome extensions should work on this. Um, I had one when I first came over, like a year ago or a long time ago, whenever it was when I first started using Browse um, Brave. Um, when I when I first started using it, there was an there was one plugin that didn't work, but uh, it eventually worked after a while. So um, they are um, you know making this better and better. And now all of my plugins work completely fine. And I do have some funky plugins that it's that's not like huge. It's made by some random person. I have some like Amazon analytic analytical stuff that like pulls weird data all over the place that I wouldn't assume Brave Browser would. Uh, you know, I wouldn't assume a browser would be able to make it compatible because they made it specifically compatible for Google Chrome. You can't use it for like Firefox or anything like that, but it works on this, which is fantastic. So um, all of your, um, yeah, all of your plugins should work great, which is nice. And then, uh, like I said before, you can use Tor browsing. So it's just another um, way that you can end up, uh, you know, browsing around. So like for instance, I can go open link in private Tor and now I'm actually using a Tor browser. And obviously, if you guys know what Tor is, you can access you know, the deep web and the dark net and all that sort of crap, but um, which, you know, isn't, um, which isn't, you know, this like illegal black market, you know, all it is is just, uh, it's the web where people can post stuff anonymously and whatnot, which obviously that attracts a lot of criminals and stuff. But um, but it attracts people like what if what if uh, somebody wants to you know uh, be a, a whistleblower or something and they're scared of getting arrested or you know whatever sued or whatever they can end up um, using Tor Network to you know um, put their news on websites and stuff like that without having to worry about people tracking them and stuff like that. But if you don't know what Tor is, just I'm not going to go too far into that. Um, you can you can Google that later, and if needs be, I can actually make a separate video on it. Um, I can even show you show you around the deep web. There's some crazy stuff. Somebody told me, you know, when I first found out about it, someone's like, "You can buy heroin and cocaine on it," and I was like, "What?" And uh, lo and behold, it took me a good four or five minutes, and yeah, I was able to hire hitmen. I was able to do drug like find drugs. It was crazy what's on there. But uh, outside of that, there's uh, some interesting news sites on there that people don't have to worry about, um, and uh, 
you know, getting, getting, and then I'll, I don't really use the deep web because a lot of people do that. They'll grab it and like throw it on Reddit and that way it's not the person who posted it. They're just reposting something and uh, whatever. But, uh, but a lot of people just use this tour all the time just because they don't want to be tracked. Again, VPN as well. A lot of people use the VPN network because they don't want to be tracked. So VPN shoots your IP address everywhere. And so, um, you know, the website thinks you're, you're somebody in Russia that's looking at a website, but really it's just you, right? So, um, and uh, by the way, so this is right here. Um, this is, if you just open up a new tab and you're using browser brave, it does, um, it does show you uh, how many trackers that were blocked. It shows you HTTPS upgrades. So if you go to like Facebook.com, it'll automatically upgrade it to the HTTPS, which makes it more secure. And it's and since I've downloaded it, I think I downloaded it like January, February, March, something like that. I've saved about 6.6 .6 hours. Um, and um, okay, so I guess I didn't earn 23 bucks over the month. It was uh, over the past two months. So they started in, in um, October doing this uh, paid rewards thing, and I was gone. Uh, almost all November, I was out of the country, out of the state, and so I didn't really use my browser at all during November. And then uh, we are seven days into December, and I'm at three bucks. So if this continues, right? It might be at like twelve bucks for the month or something, but still, twelve bucks a month just to use my regular browser. Um, and I've made like twenty three over the past three months, but again, one month I didn't really use it, so I'm not really sure the average that you'll get. Um, but I think it's somewhere between probably like 8 and 15, depending on how heavy you, you use it. Uh, but yeah, let's go back to the site. Um, oh, and then, okay, so let's talk about the re rewards. So uh, every single time you watch an ad, um, depending on if you click on it, depending on if you watch it, depending on all this stuff, I'm 100% on the, it uh, depends on what ad and what, what, what they agree on with the browsing, with Brave Browser, whatever. But, um, but yeah, you can earn basic attention token. And uh, just to let you know what that is, coin market cap. So if you go to coinmarketcap.com, you can kind of see what um, I'm t what basic attention token is. I don't really want this to be a cryptocurrency video. It's not what this is about. Um, but if you go to coinmarketcap.com, you will see it is a uh, top 32 um, coin. There is a $259 million market cap on it. So a uh, pretty big market cap. And um, I, I do think this this uh, there's going to be a lot of decentralized finance applications that will be using basic attention token in their projects. There's a couple other companies too. I um, by the way, I'm I'm I don't want anyone investing in this because of this video. It's not what this video is supposed to be about. Um, this is not a financial. I'm not a financial advisor or anything like that. I just uh, I'm some idiot on YouTube that loves making videos. But but. Uh, but yeah, you can check out more of uh, you know where to buy it, and uh, um, you know they'll, they'll have their website on there and stuff. But uh, as you see, there's a lot of you know companies that offer that project that you can actually go and you know trade your fiat currency or whatever for it. But you don't have to do any of that stuff uh, if you don't want. That's just uh, it's just like an extra thing. They they instead of rewarding you with cash. Um, they reward you with basic attention tokens. So, um, and if you want, you can actually become a um, a, a contributor, and essentially, they allow you to. So, like, what if you have like a favorite YouTuber or a website that's you know a local Instagram something or other, and you want to share your love, right? You want to be like, so I earned um, all these free tokens just for using the web browser. So, just in the last seven days, I've earned three bucks. So why don't I each month, like, uh, in fact, here's Crypto Bobby right here. He's someone I actually follow. Um, why don't I give Crypto Bobby just a buck a month, right? Just uh, two bucks a month, you know, something like that. You know, he has uh, enough followers that just do that. You know, he can make a living off of that or, you know, five, you know, I can do five bucks a month if, if I'm, you know, whatever I want to end up doing. But you can become a contributor as well and people can actually pay you in basic attention token. Again, this is free money, right? Like uh, nobody is, the advertisers are paying you for it. So you actually get to hook up people and give them money that you didn't have to actually, I kind of call it funny money when, when you're not like earning it, right? It's This is free money you got just for doing whatever. It's not like you uh, 
you know, you put in hard work or found a project, you invested in it, it grew and you pulled out at a certain time or whatever, right? Uh, kind of like when people like re remortgage their homes after the area increases and then they, you know, take out that cash and buy toys with it. It's like, come on, guys, uh, you shouldn't be doing that with funny money. But at any rate, um, I'll, uh, I'll give a link to this website. I'll give a link to my... Um, to my uh, reference link, uh, I really would appreciate. It. I I don't know, I don't really know. I haven't gone and looked in the the details in my reference link thing, but uh, what I get for it. But um, I know I get some stuff for it. So uh, if you want to help me out and um, just download it with my link, again, you don't have to. Just go to brave.com and download it if you don't want to do that. Okay, so I'm gonna end this video right here before it goes way too long, um, and I, I kind of want to talk to you about why you should care about this. Why would why it, Google Chrome works fine for you? Why do I care if ads or whatever? If you don't care about getting paid the little basic attention token, if you don't really care if the ads pop up, if you're just like whatever, you know, um, I mean, I mean, you just uh, do one more little. Uh, um, argument uh, against being on a browser that doesn't protect your privacy. So, uh, in fact, let's use an ex a real-world example. So, uh, a company by the name of uh, Cambridge Analytica was actually responsible for for um, using social media to manipulate um, uh, manipulate uh, presidential elections and and countries. In fact, they were caught red-handed in three different countries where they. They, because of what they did, the a, a certain president was elected. Now, this is not new. This is not new news, right? There's, there's in every single election, there's people saying, "Oh, this person's an idiot." Oh, this person's awesome, you know. And they're, they're trying to, you know, you always see commercials that are pro and against, all, you know, different candidates. But that's not where the problem comes from. Where the problem comes from is they. When I say they, what I mean is um, these, these. Um, these data brokerage companies, which there's probably hundreds out there, and uh, and they share information, they sell information to each other, whatnot. But they have hundreds and sometimes thousands. In fact, there's a company in Canada that has over, I think it's like 1,200 or 1,500 data points on each individual person in the world. With and they have over 10% of the world's population. They have uh, 12 or 1,500 data points, whatever it is. And so what that means is they know they know 1,200 pieces of information about me, right? They know I'm male. They know I'm, I'm white. They know I'm American. They know I'm I'm you know pro gay marriage. Let's just take those four things right there, right? Um, now let's say that they want me to vote for somebody who's like a piece of trash, who's like a garbage person in real life, right? But they so but that person is pro gay marriage. So they're gonna flood my chat with like, hey, this guy's great, dude. He's pro gay marriage, and the guy that I really like, um, let's say that uh, I'm against drunk driving. Let's say that uh, he got a DUI when he was in college, uh, maybe you know wrecked and put someone in the hospital, paralyzed someone or something. Uh, I'm gonna get flooded with advertisements saying that, oh, this piece of crap, dude. He 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 got a DUI, put someone in the hospital, and and now he's you know rich, and th that person's poor, and you know or whatever. And so imagine having 12 or 1500 data points on you and um, these companies what they what they can do is they can specifically target your page individually the people that you know fall under certain categories they push certain ads and um, and that way they influence you through social media into and they trick you into thinking things are true or or, or, or false or and by the way, uh, there's no accountability or responsibility when it comes to this stuff, right? There's some random person in some other country that's hiding behind a VPN that makes some completely false accusation and statement about, uh, you know, an advertisement that they want to throw in front of you. And then when it comes down to it, like, oh, it's a lie. It's like, oh, well, we don't know who that came from. Uh, we, you know, whatever. The damage is already done, right? You already saw it and you don't, they can't take that back. and. It just becomes a huge problem. So when people know this many, this much stuff about you, they literally can predict the future. And I'm not just saying that they are. When I say they, again, I'm talking about these uh, data, um, these uh, you know companies that just gather data information up and, and sell them and whatnot. They know you better than you know you, and so they are able to to sway your decisions, sway your thinking, because they're able to manipulate you emotionally through advertisements, right? Um, so there's 
there's a problem when someone is able to manipulate your thinking so much so that you know you're you know you're investing in a company that's really just a scam that you're voting for a president that's really a piece of junk that you're you know um you know you you're you're donating um, to a cause that's not nearly as good as what you should be doing. You know, there's just a lot of things that can be manipulated, and um, and that's why it's it's a problem. So I don't know if any of that made any sense, and I have a hard time explaining this sort of stuff. I feel like I should get a flow chart out or something, and 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 uh, but. Um, but I'm gonna end the video right here um, before I go along. I'm actually this is a, I'm on I'm on about an hour right now, hour and a, I'm in an hour and ten minutes right now on my recording, uh, and I'm gonna cut it down to hopefully 20 minutes or something. But I super appreciate anyone who's watched this already. Uh, thank you so much if you did like and subscribe. And uh, hey, again, um, download this browser. You can go to brave.com or you can use my reference link. Uh, whatever you want to do, but. Uh, let's just uh, get in, get control of our lives back together, right? Um, but yeah, I guess that's it. Super appreciate it, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye. Hey, before I end up ending this video, I, I, I keep forgetting to talk about my giveaways. Uh, I am giving away a Litecoin on Christmas Day. Uh, I'll put the link in. Um, it's it's on my Twitter. I'm gonna eventually integrate it into my YouTube channel. So um, uh, if you you know like and subscribe, or sorry, if you subscribe to my channel, in the next videos that you'll see, you'll you'll see this giveaway. Um, and then also in these comments, there's also a couple hundred bucks being given away on Christmas Day with um, you know Litecoin and, and Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, whatnot. So. Uh, I'll put this link in the video again, but this is a, a nice, easy, free way to earn a few hundred dollars in cryptocurrency. So, uh, at any rate, uh, thanks everybody. Take care. Bye.